A mission to find life outside of Earth is underway now, headed for Europa, one of the moons of Jupiter. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma spoke with a local NASA engineer who played a major part in the launch. Matthew Horner is an Anderson native who now lives in Chico. He spent 10 years on the Europa Clipper project, most of the time leading the mechanical systems team. Just the, the amount of time that I'd spent on it, seeing it kind of start, you know, not coming in on the middle of the project where we do uh, oftentimes was was really special to see it go, just to kind of, you know, go cradle the grave on, on a project. And uh, yeah, that was, it was a special day. After years of working in the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, he believes the mission will find life on Europa. Europa specifically is important because of its, um, its subsurface ocean. So it's probably the best place we have in our solar system right now to find life. You know, we've been searching on Mars for years and years and decades, um, and Europa is, is our next big chance to go look and see if we can find life. So Clipper won't specifically look for life, but it'll be able to tell us if it has the ingredients um, that life could have formed. Horner says the sophisticated spacecraft called the Clipper has the largest solar panels ever on a mission. He says most of his concerns go away after a launch because it is the harshest environment that his equipment experiences. And liftoff. Liftoff a Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper. It launched October 14th when Horner and his family were watching from home. And on that day, from the rocket launch to the successful separation to get out of Earth's orbit, well, he says a lot of his stress was gone after the successful launch. That, uh, that shot from the launch vehicle camera that was actually on the SpaceX rocket, uh, where you see it separate and kind of going away, that's, that's the last shot you'll ever get. So it's a, it's a very cool moment to see your hardware leaving, leaving it earth and, and for the last time you'll have, ever lay eyes on it. Horner's job was making sure that the satellite parts are able to withstand the journey to Jupiter and the planned 49 flybys to the moon of Europa. The mission will take five years to get to Europa and from there it's about patiently waiting to see the perfect image. He says they won't be able to confirm good scientific readings until about 2030. The mission plan is to orbit Jupiter multiple times, kind of stay out of that radiation belt, dip our toe in, take our measurements, and then come back out. And there's even a chance that the heat could cause blurry images. The clipper has to turn around from the direction it's going and slow down in order to get the first shot of Europa, fingers crossed, that it is a clear enough image. Horner says it will be learning monumental science that we have never seen before. In Chico, I'm Diego Moctezuma, Action News Now. The five-year mission is a 1.8 billion mile journey that will also do a gravity assessment of Mars before returning to Earth. Europa has an ice shell 30 miles thick and an ocean deeper than Earth's.